Good morning and jai hind dear students I hope you all must be hail and hearty Good, Good morning, morning and jai hind ma'am Dear students today we will learn a new concept we will learn simple future tense today Ma'am what is simple future tense and why do we use it The future tense is a verb tense used to talk about something that will happen or will be true in the future For example he will be here soon I will give you a call. What will you do? It will be sunny tomorrow. We use the simple future tense to express an action that will take place in the future. For example, I shall return your dictionary tomorrow. They will come again next month. We also use simple future tense to talk about unplanned actions. For example, I will help you with your homework. It's raining. I will close the window. We use simple future tense to make predictions. For example, it will rain tomorrow. The track will be difficult for you. Children, we use words like tomorrow, next week, next month to show future action. So children, let's see the structure of simple future tense. For declarative sentences, we make sentences with subject plus helping verb plus main verb. For example, I will come. You will come. He, she or it will come. We will come. You will come. They will come. Now, how do we make negative sentences in simple future tense? Children, for negative sentences, we use the following structure. Subject plus helping verb plus not plus main verb. For example, I will not speak. You won't speak. He, she, it won't speak. We will not or won't speak. You will not or won't speak. They will not or won't speak. And for interrogative sentences for yes or no questions, we use the following structure. Helping verb plus subject plus main verb. For example, will I sleep? Will you sleep? Will he or she or it sleep will we sleep will you sleep will they sleep ma'am how do we frame information questions in simple future tense children as we know that there are two types of interrogative sentences first yes or no questions second information questions for framing information questions we use the following structure question word plus helping verb plus subject plus main verb for example when will i sing why will you sing what will he she it or molly sing who will sing where will you sing when will they or molly and saira sing now maya can you make one negative sentence in simple future tense ma'am i will not come school tomorrow Why won't you come school tomorrow, Maya? Ma'am, I will come school tomorrow. I just frame a sentence in simple future tense. Okay, Maya. Very good. Now, Ravi, can you frame one negative sentence in simple future tense? Will I score good marks in examination? Yes, Ravi. You have framed the correct sentence. We sometimes use the be going to. form to talk about the future let's see how do we use it in simple future tense we sometimes use be going to to express a future event that has already been planned for example i am going to prepare for the exam they are going to visit us again next month we use be going to to make predictions for example rita is going to win the quiz the children are going to hurt themselves We use be going to plus verb to talk about actions that are planned and will definitely happen. For example, Savitri is going to start college next June. Dain is going to start work next week. Thank you, children. That's all for today. I hope you would have enjoyed the class and would have learned the simple future tense. Happy learning. Stay blessed and stay safe. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. You, ma